Hey guys, what's up? Silver Age is just about to start kicking off, so we're gonna go interview some people, see what they're playing, and see what's going on. Ambush time. Ambush time. They're not ready. Out in the wild, mate. We see a very calm and docile Caleb Riddick. What's he doing? What are you playing? Hey Caleb, what's up? What's hey. going on, buddy? What are you playing for silver? Are you playing in silver? Uh, are you just silver. chilling? You are playing silver. I'm okay. Playing Thanos. I'm playing. Sorry to hear it. <laughs> just messing with you. Uh, collector, and I'm playing Mad Jim. Ooh. And I'm playing Groot and Skyscraper Wonder Woman. And then I'm playing Joker's Gas Canister. Hey, all right. And the Cloak of Levitation Main Force. And then five ID cards. Black five Widow, ID Captain cards. America, Beast, Leech, and Green Arrow. Do you want to rethink maybe the Captain America ID card pick? Who are you calling in right now? There's no Captain America. Uh, that's, that's the joke. That's what I'm saying. You're not, allowed, you're not allowed to play Captain America. I was about to say, that is a rough one. Uh, if that's did your plan, you did say Captain America, and I was like, well, I hate to break it to you. I don't want to be that guy. Oh, okay, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Okay. Captain what Captain Marvel are you calling in? Uh, the super rare with super the cat. Rare? Okay, super rare with the cat. Oh, I don't know why. Don't, don't, don't look at me with that. Don't, don't. A man who likes sharks. What's your name? What are you playing? Clifford? You don't look like a big red dog, Clifford. And you're like, wow, I've never heard that one before. So cool. What are you playing at Silverman? Uh, Thanos and Microns and Atoms with Duke Thomas. Well, there's a big uh, difference though. That's not the Thanos we're used to seeing right now, so I love this. Yeah, yeah, you're playing some fun stuff. See, now Silver Age, that's a totally different beast for Primes. Right now, we've been arguing about Mad Jim, we've been arguing about Destroyer Prime, you know, Captain Marvel Prime, all this stuff. Micron goes so hard. I'm glad to see you're playing him. What is your favorite part about this, this type of build, right? This is a, kind of a swarmy. Very swarmy alpha strikey type. Yeah. Sorry. You know, you're good. <laughs> I like that Thanos can uh, counter like protected outwit, and then I have three outwits, and then I perplex. Duke Thomas gives me all these attacks, so I swarm and just get a lot of attack and a lot of damage. Just outwit everything and just go. It catches people off guard. And I like. What are you worried about playing against right now? A lot of barrier. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the king of New Orleans, Zach Coffee. You're, uh, are you playing in silver? I see you have a nice build sheet. You are playing in silver. Hey, fantastic. What are you playing, bud? I'm playing Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, you have to be more specific. <laughs> the good one that makes the chewies. There we go. <laughs> yes. I'm playing one of them, and I'm IDing one of them. Okay. Um, I got a mad gym because we're mad crazy for playing silver. Um, a surfboard on a Deadpool and a star sapphire with uh, molecules of uh, persons of things to throw some molecules around, and a black Vulcan in case I crit miss, which I'll probably do all day long. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and then some objects to go with it to kind of make it all fun. Look at that. Hey, the crowbar. I like the crowbar. Chain of crowbar is a good one. All right. Well, Zach, it was good talking to you. What are you playing in silver today? I'm playing Worm. Worm? Yeah, from oh TMNT3. No. <laughs> All like 150 yeah. points of yeah. Worm? No, like, my thing is, is I was like, silver is nuts. It is. So it is. let's just play something stupid and have fun. You, uh, you. I'm here for modern, so let's just play you something stupid this. here. Yeah. Okay. Well, dude, tell me about your team. I have 200 point Master Mold, Hope Summers, and Deadpool, and two of his 10 point bystander Sentinels as my main force. We have Danny here, guys. Tell me about your Silver Age team. I'm running Sicarian Iron Man, Scarlet Witch at 75, uh, Beast Supreme at 75, Felix at 30, Molecule Man, and uh, Wizard Prime. Okay, right on. What is your goal, man? Like, what is, how's this team going to roll out? What's your rollout? What's your plan with this team? What are you hoping to counter? What are you hoping to not run into? What's going on? The only thing I really don't even know how to play against is those triple apocalypse teams, but I don't know if we're going to see very many of them. All right. But basically, I'll let you come to me and make the first mistake. All right. Sounds good. I hope your opponents make many good mistakes here. Right. We'll see you, man. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Uh, Mike. All right. Wow, a lot of Mikes. <laughs> Tell me about your team. Uh, so I'm running a mystical team today, and uh, I plan on surprising a lot of people with this man right here, uh, Richter. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, he's, this is basically my modern team with a couple of like alternative swaps for Jim Jaspers. Okay. Uh, but Richter uh, lets you... Uh, Quake through walls, Are you serious? Uh, through okay. through blocking okay. terrain. So I have a bunch of barrier stuff that I can do, and I can quake, and I don't have to see you. Okay. Um, 
So I could take people by surprise by doing that. He'll either be uh, wielding the all black or the power gem. Okay. Um, so he'll have some uh, penetrating or some uh, extra uh, attack bonuses there. Other than that, I'm just doing uh, normal uh, Jim Jasper shenanigans, equipment swaps. Uh, I've got Merlin to uh, cheese people on all their free actions, Faust to keep everybody honest, and then Agatha to drop the rune <laughs> yes, anytime I really true. need to. <laughs> Skew. We'll get to him a bit. Guys, are you guys playing in silver? All right. Do you care to be on camera and talk about your teams a little bit? Uh, I'm still getting mine together. So. Okay. Well, we're going to go to you, dude. So you're playing Latveria. What's your name and what's your team? Rich Medina, I'm playing Latveria. We're going to have Doom, Nine Lane, Conqueror, a bunch of Colossal Retails, Groot, uh, Skyscraper, Wonder Woman, Dark Phoenix, the Two Flashes, Sky Tyrant, Mad Jim, Jasper, and a Brainiac. All right, so Mad Jim's on your team. So you're choosing Mad Jim as your prime, right? Not only in Modern, but in Silver. There's a lot of primes that are really good. Why'd you choose Mad Jim? Is he there for Sky Tyrant? What's he doing? Uh, in case you need a different equipment for a different like matchup, right? So say, hey, you need the Necro Sword to stop shape change and super senses, you can have that option. Uh, say you need there's more damage, like a power gem, you have that option, right? There's certain things that work really good on certain pieces, right? Absolutely. Sometimes you just need battlefield. That's true. That's true. So uh, what's your name and what you're playing, man? Yeah. Mike Holloway. Uh, and so yeah, playing Thanos, uh, Cosmic with uh, Collector, Pride, Captain Marvel, and Groot with some call-in stuff. Nothing crazy, or pretty orthodox stuff you're seeing right now. So I right. came in top eight at the Rock Cup with a pretty similar build. So see if it works again for me. Okay. Awesome. Uh, you're the first person we've seen today playing that Captain Marvel. We love that Captain Marvel. We think he's like top three primes of all time. Like we think he's amazing. So good luck today, my man. I hope it does well. Probably check in with you guys at the end of the tournament. All right. See if we can find some more people. We have Mike Eskew. I really want to talk to Mike Eskew. But first we have. We have a strange little leprechaun, tiny little leprechaun man here. We have Manny Kinks. Oh, God. Are you playing in silver? Yeah, baby. Okay, what are you playing in silver? Uh, monsters, Onslaught, okay. Sky Tyrant, some nonsense. So incredibly descriptive, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Do you want more? Yeah, give us your full, give us your build, bro. There's like five IDs, ten tarot cards. It's too much, ten. man. You're doing ten. So you're not, you're not min-maxing the deck. You're just like the more the merrier? Nah, got to break the mold. Got to be the first. And it's all ones that have nothing to do with my build. So <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you do that? Because f*** it. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I don't know if we can say that. I don't know if we can say that. We should have known better. All right, let's find some more people. But we have PJ Bowen with us. Hi. PJ, are you playing in silver? I am. What's your team, PJ? I'm playing a shield theme team. Ooh, that's wacky. All right, okay. Tell me kind of why. It's Peggy Carter. Captain Carter, Captain yeah. Captain Carter Prime. Okay. Yeah, she's the only actual shield. And then it's a Green Lantern, three foot elites. And an industrial spy. Okay. And a tank. And you did some goofy stuff with that industrial spy, because he could just do some goofy stuff with copying powers and Absolutely. all that whatnot. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Silver Age for you is like just scratching the, the heroin like itch to play, let me guess, foot elites, yeah. yeah. Is that Absolutely, yeah. Yes. Okay. Only foot elites, that's all that matters. That's it, yeah. Well, hey, good luck to you. I expect my games to end on turn three one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> we die, we win. Exactly. It's over quickly, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> I really want to talk to Mike. I really, really, really want to talk to Mike. We have, I think, almost the friendliest person I've ever met in my entire life. Not even the friendliest person here. We have Mike Skew here. Mike, Hi, how how's it going? Are you playing in silver today? Yes, I am. Mike, what are you playing in silver? Uh, Thanos. Oh, Thanos okay. Mine's, Mine's got Doom. Mine's okay, Doom. Doom, do you want to go into that a little oh. bit? Than uh, here. I'll show you. It's got hey, a lot perfect. of scratch and scratch. I originally wanted to do Thanos and seven boogers, the seven Proteuses. Uh, uh, but it doesn't do enough damage output. So... Then I was going to play 300 point apocalypse, and then the guy said, "Just flip a coin between 300 point apocalypse and your your modern team, and, or some slightly different version of your modern team." And so we flipped the coin, and this one. So I'm playing uh, my modern team, which is Thanos, Doom, uh, and Mad Jim Jaspers, and a bunch of a bunch of. Uh, uh, let's see, what do I got? I got I got uh, Muramasa blade and the spin ring, oh. and then a bunch of items. Okay. So yeah, no IDs, straight up, no IDs. Now. I hear that if they win, they will actually cover your feet in cement and drop you off the nearest dock. We have the Chicago Clicks Mafia. We have Nate White. We have Patrick Frazier. Are you guys playing in silver? Yes, we are playing in silver. Nate, what are you playing in silver? I'm playing my Grand Gog oh my team. Gosh. Man Gog and Grand Master working together to try to make people die in their starting areas on the top of turn All right. There's going to be some punching of themselves, and then there's going to be some retaliation going on. 
the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. All right. I hope it. <laughs> we're probably gonna check in later. See how it all goes. I love. I love <laughs> Steam so much. Pat, what are you playing in silver? Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Okay. You want to implore monsters? You just want to say monsters. Right. There's, There's like a, mo a lot of monsters. Monsters. We're gonna monsters. We got these monsters, those monsters, you know, you know monsters, yeah. We have 37 players here for Silver Guys. The tables are buzzing with games everywhere. Let's go ahead, take a quick look, and we'll check back in with everybody. A lot going on there. I'm seeing a ton of Colossals here in Silver Age. Going on down there. I love the double Ameridroid. That's pretty cool. Let's go over here. <laughs> Try Sentinels. I think that's a terrible move personally, but we'll see how that goes. Sponsors. Have our last table here. We are seeing a good mix of representation in silver. We're seeing a lot of Silver Age figures and exclusive game elements. We're seeing a lot of Silver Age ROC maps and the like. We're gonna go ahead, this is only the first round for all 37 players, so we're gonna go ahead at the end of this. We'll see what happens at the end of the round and we'll uh, talk to them then. All right guys, here we have the top eight for silver. We have Lucas Van Holland, Chip Barnett, Dale Powell, Michael Askew, TJ Wheeler, PJ Bolin, Caleb Reddick, and Richard Malona. Guys, top eight is in full swing. I'm excited to see everything here in silver. I see we have a lot of apocalypses, some triple A pockets making the board. Let's go ahead and look at these tables. Right here, I love this. Uh, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's Groot. I believe it's representing a walking wood, however. For a second there, I was like, whoa, we're playing Rocket and Groot. This looks, this looks really tight right here at the end of the day. Oh, Jim with the miss on Super Senses. That's rough. That's sad. Let's go ahead and check on a PJ and Dan here. Okay. Yeah, Thanos things. That flash swing on Sam Cap. That's going to be tough. She has combat reflexes. That is going to be a rough one. Okay, well, that's taken a minute, so let's go ahead and see. Lucas is already done with this game, so we don't know how that's going, but Silver's in full swing. I'm looking forward to see who wins that Silver, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have a top four for you in a minute. Oh, hold on. What in the world? Oh, man. This is current Silver right here. We have Triple Apocalypse going on against what looks to be a little Thanos collector build with no Thanos. How incredibly interesting. Hey there guys, we've entered the top four of the very first WizKids official Silver Age event. It's going to be Lucas Van Holland versus Mike Askew, Daniel Powell versus Caleb Bredick. The Uncanny Clicksmen are coming in pretty strong making this top four twice. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these teams. Before we get started really quick, Lucas, how much sleep have you gotten in the last 24 hours? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours of sleep. Fantastic, that's all we need to know. Mike, how are you feeling about this game? Uh, I think I'm going to lose. Okay. That's okay. I like the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check on the other guys here really quick. Uh, right, excuse me. Top four, Caleb, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah, well, good. Good? And good. Did you win or lose map right now? I won map. Okay. I rolled a six, he rolled a five. We're the ex almost the exact same team. But I did win map roll. Fantastic. Dan, how are you feeling? Top four? Feeling great. It means Thanos makes the finals, so I'm happy. All right, fantastic. I love the incredibly different versions of Walking Woods here. I <laughs> I do appreciate that. That is hilarious. The Lego, the Lego, the, the Lego Leslie Evans <laughs> is pretty funny. All right, well, good luck, guys. We'll see you later. And that is a wrap, guys, on the very first WizKids Silver Age tournament. Sadly, the ending was a little anticlimactic. It came down to Lucas Van Hollen and Daniel Powell. They decided just to roll off and call it done there because they were both mentally worn out from a long day of travel and a long day of silver. Daniel Powell did take home the win with his Thanos team, and that was the wrap to the very first Silver Age tournament.